Hello everyone. So this video is for those pharmacists who have already qualified CAPS exam and PTE and now want to apply uh, for the intern pharmacist position in the Australian community pharmacies. Okay. So in this video, I will teach you that how you will design CV uh, for that intern pharmacist position and how you will design cover letter. Okay. So let me share screen with you. So these are some of the points that you should mention in your CV, okay? So, this is a template. So, uh, name, address, contact details, email, your email address you are using, okay? And uh, the professional summary and three or four lines, okay? And your personal data, personal data is not that much important, but if you want to add, so it's okay. You can add your date of birth, place of birth, and marital status, nationality, language, proficiency, okay? And uh, in the CV, uh, photo is not uh, important, okay? So if you do not want to add photo, so it's okay. And the next, academic qualification. This is very, very important. So you can add your caps, if you have qualified CAPS exam, so you have uh, aired your CAPS and uh, if you are upper registered pharmacist, so it is it will give you benefit, okay? So you can add that upper registration and uh, along with date, the courses, if you have some uh, additional courses, uh, so yeah, you can also mention your degree, your bachelor degree or your MPhil or PhD. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the academic qualification. Professional experience is very, very important, okay? So this is a template <clears throat> that you will mention that from which date you are working in an organization or you have worked already, okay? So like this, this is uh, the CV template of a pharmacist, okay? Uh, who is already a registered pharmacist in Australia. So for December, 2021 till date, pharmacist okay and you will mention the name of the pharmacy okay in the region new south Wales. but the point which is very very important that you will explain all your roles and responsibilities and their organization in very detail okay like this is a pharmacist okay so what are the roles and responsibilities so counseling the patient for right dose and direction of the medication usage under the supervision of per sector Okay, and keep the pharmacy equipment in working order and area neat and clean. So these are some of the roles and responsibilities of that pharmacist, okay? And then from 4th November 2020 till 1st of December 2021, uh, he, has, he has already worked as a pharmacist, okay? I will not mention the name of that chemist and New South Wales. So yeah, here these are these were the roles and responsibilities, okay? Helps maintain pharmaceutical and supplies inventory storing under proper storage conditions and security and maintain adequate stocks and suggest changes, okay? So yeah, these are the roles and responsibilities. So you will mention, if you have experience, you have worked as a uh, pharmacist, okay? Or you are working as a, a senior pharmacist or a pharmacy manager, so you can explain your roles and responsibilities, okay? So yeah, this is the CV template. So it will really help you, okay? So yeah, this is uh, a template, okay? So you can uh, share uh, your home country experience, okay? In hospital pharmacy or community pharmacy and all your roles, okay? So yeah, this is the CV template, okay? An internship, okay. You can also uh, mention, okay, your clinical clerkship or internship uh, with number of hours, okay, in your CV. So it will give you benefit. And the workshop, okay, and key and behavioral skills, okay, and and the last references. So references are very very important, okay. So if you have some, uh, if you have a friend in Australia, okay. Uh, who is a pharmacist, so it will really help you. So you can add the details of that pharmacist, okay? So this was all about 
the CV template, how you will design CV. Okay, so after CV, uh, now how you will design a cover letter? So you can take help from chat GPT, okay? Uh, you can simply type in the MS Word. So yeah, it's not so difficult, but uh, if you want to uh, take help from chat GPT, so you can simply write chat GPT in the Google, okay? And you will create an account. So yeah, suppose I want to uh, design a cover letter for myself, okay? So you will simply write, I'm, I'm Asif, suppose my name, okay? Pharmacist from Pakistan. Okay. I'm CAPS qualifier. And APRA registered pharmacist. Okay. I have completed from the in twenty nineteen, suppose. Okay. And I have Four years experience as a pharmacist. Okay. I'm willing to pay all the expenses of Visa, ticket, etc. Okay, and I am willing to work in regional areas, areas of Australia. Okay, so like this. Okay, so you will mention your details and then. write a cover letter for me as I want to apply for intern pharmacist position okay an Australian community pharmacies okay so yeah like this. So this will be a template, okay? <clears throat> so you will simply copy this uh, template, okay? And you will use it. Like now, uh, my cover letter is ready, okay? That uh, your name, your address, city, country, email address, phone number, you will mention, okay? Dear, in, dear hiring manager, I am writing to express my strong interest in the intern pharmacy position at your esteemed pharmacy as advertised. I am highly motivated and dedicated pharmacist with a comprehensive educational background, you will be able experience and a commitment to delivering exceptional patient care. I hold a doctor pharmacy degree, having completed my studies in 2019. I am also a qualified and a registered pharmacist with APRA. Okay, I have successfully cleared the CAPS exam. So yeah. So this is uh, your cover letter, suppose, okay? You write seek.com in the Google, seek.com, okay? So this is seek.com. So the first thing is that you will enter keyword, okay? What is keyword? Keyword mean that you will write in turn pharmacist. Okay. So these are the keywords in turn pharmacist, pharmacy in turn. Okay. Like this. Then in the classification, you will choose health. Okay. And then in the area, you will choose where you want to work. Okay. Like I am uh, going to uh, write over here New South Wales. Okay. 
New South Wales. Yes, there are many chances, okay, that you can get job in New South Wales. So, okay. So this is the method, okay, how you will find jobs. Intern pharmacist, okay, so there is, yeah, we can see available, okay. Uh, yeah, so you will simply click on this, suppose, okay. And then click apply, okay, and you will submit your CV and your cover letter, okay. So yeah, this is the method how you will find job. Now, so yeah, uh, there are many uh, websites like indeed.com, seek.com, okay, LinkedIn. So you will create account and uh, you will submit your CV and it's very easy, okay? Uh, so yeah, uh, in the CV, you will uh, explain all your roles and responsibilities, your job experience, uh, your caps, uh, that when you have a qualified CAPS exam and APRA registration. Uh, so yeah, the references, okay, you should mention the references, okay? And uh, you can design a cover letter and uh, uh, you should focus on the regional areas in Australia. Uh, like I will mention that in New South Wales, there are many chances, okay? That uh, you should search in the New South Wales, Victoria, okay? And uh, in the New South Wales, like, uh, uh, glue sister okay so yeah these are some of the and i will mention some other areas like uh, tari okay uh, tari glue sister and you can also uh, search jobs in the brisbane okay so yeah these are some of the uh, areas that you can uh, search jobs and you can also <clears throat> uh, submit a cv uh, there are jobs available uh, and the Parmesi Guild of Australia, you can type in the Google Parmesi Guild of Australia. So there are also jobs available. So on daily basis, you can also check that website, okay? And you can submit CV. So at least on daily basis, I will suggest that at least you should apply to 20 Parmesis, okay? And uh, definitely, if you have experience, okay? So definitely they will hire you, okay? So yeah. This was all about uh, today's video that how you will design CV, how you will design cover letter, how you will find job, okay? And in the next video, I will teach you that how you will uh, apply for the uh, 491 visa or 190 visa, okay? And I will also uh, make a video on this that uh, if you uh, got an interview call from any Australian community for Macy, then which type of questions you should expect from the hiring manager okay so yeah this was all about today's video see you in the next video thank you so much if you have any questions so you can ask in the comment section bye bye